Okay, my crypto peeps. Little uh, Ian sleeping out in the next room, so I got the bathroom door shut, the closet room door shut here. So <laughs> double doors. I don't think he's gonna wake up, but I don't. I don't want to talk too loud. Um, so let's look at this chart. This is Shiba Inu. In the boxed area I have shows 132 percent current current profit. Where you see that box is the last four digits was two five basically two five zero 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 right around there. So twenty five hundred today. Five thousand would be doubling your money. It's at sixty five. I just sold, FYI, some at six six zero 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 six thousand. So it's up another five hundred uh, points, if you will. Because this is a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a penny. So I'm just going to use the thousands. I just mean the last four digits of it. So again, we got in all these people on Patreon. My Patreon. At approximately that price. Now again, I had people into this coin earlier this year on Patreon. But it, the coin hadn't really done much of anything. Just like a lot of the other coins. And all of a sudden it starts rocketing up. And uh, I got people in at Dogecoin in Patreon back in January at a penny. That thing hit 70 cents on Elon's tweet, Elon Musk, his tweet about Doge. Ran up to 70 cents. I captured profit at 51 cents and 39 cents. That is how many multiples? 51x move on Dogecoin and a 39x move on Dogecoin back in January. And there's been some other other things we've done throughout the year. It's not the only thing we did. Um, but in the last few months, there hasn't been a whole lot of me posting on Patreon. Oh, but this coin. Oh, that coin. Spirit gave me this. Or Spirit gave Woo Woo Dude this. No, 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 no. So, he, as he explained in that live stream we did the other day, XLM and Shiba. But as I said, when he gave me the information like three weeks ago now, whatever it was, whatever, what date is that? 23rd? Well, yeah, because it was before all this big run up. So I'd have to go look at my Patreon, but it was probably somewhere, you know, somewhere back in here, you know, like it's way back in here. We got the, the advance notice and in, and in his, this time it was a dream he got. He's like, Joe, I don't usually get dreams. Spirit just comes out and tells me I'm connected, you know. He goes, you're the dream guy. I go, I know, this is weird. But it's funny that they gave him a dream. And then he's going to tell me what it was. And I'm the guy that dreams. So I'm going, this is like, I feel like this is extra important for me. And he tells me the story about XLM, the movie tickets. And then Sheba, you more movie tickets. You're about to run out. You better hurry up and get your seat. Um, the building's going to burn up with the big Sheba dog on the logo. And I'm like telling all my patrons, this is what he said, you know. So we all get in or get more if you haven't gotten in yet. And I got more. I got a lot more on that news because I'm like, he's been quiet for months, just like me. I've got nothing in months. I'm, I'm, I'm going right in right now. And, I, and I'm like, wow. So um, we made the call. And that's why I told you guys that night when I started talking about it publicly, I go, look. I'm not trying to get you over to my Patreon for $20 a month. I don't need your business. I love you. And I want all the business that wants to come my way. Sure. Like any business owner. That's what I do. That's my job. Uh, that's my income is Patreon. If that thing went away, um, you know, people people left me. Then what? You know, I'm out. Um, I'd have to go f either start playing with crypto full-time trading or, which I probably would do, um, or get another job, you know, and, I, and, I, and I've already had the readings and stuff. They're like, you're never getting another job again. Joe, you're psychically, all these people, they're like, you're not getting another job. You're going to work for yourself the rest of your life. Like, th that's how it's going to go. So I'm not concerned about that. But I'm just telling you, I'm doing pretty good on Patreon. I'm happy with how that turned out. I didn't say it to, to just, I want more money. Come on over. I wanted you to have the information. But I can't just give every single thing out for free. That I post on Patreon. That would not be fair to the paying people. Some of the people have been with me since I started in 2018, 19, 20, 20. When they've been paying me, some of them do the $40 a month plan, and but you don't need that. It's the $20 a month. That's all that matters. And most do the 20. For years, they've been sticking with me. I love these people. 
And from time to time we get stuff and I share it. And if I can give something out like this, where it just went up right now 130% from the, from the time it started moving. And again, we were in around that 2,500 mark, somewhere around there. Um, and here it is at one, you know, 131%. And this, this particular move only happened in a matter of 23, 24, 25, 26, 26, four days. He got the notice more than four days ago. We got in in advance before everybody else could. Now everybody is FOMOing into Sheba because of Elon's tweet, which Shiba Inu, 19 hours ago, Will Shiba Inu coin hit the dollar mark? Elon Musk expects a dollar twenty by the end of October. Let it be true, and everyone goes to the moon. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. So, again, why is it moving right now, this this much? And the whole entire market, as you can see on the right, and that's not all the coins, but those are a lot of coins I watch. And if you want to see, go to CoinMarketCap.com and look at all the coins. I mean, just about everything is red. 9%, 11%, 4%, 8%, 10%, 9, 9.5, 8.55, you know, XRP even, our, one of our favorite coins, 8.5, why? Because everybody and their mother and their uncle and their uncle's cousin are selling other cryptos they may be in possession of, and maybe not all, we don't know. I don't think all, because if everyone started selling, we'd have bigger numbers than this dropping uh, in the red. But I'm sure people are scraping other coins right now. I'm positive to get their asses into Shiba because of what Elon Musk just said. And they already saw what he could do with Dogecoin by making one comment, you know. So everyone knows when we when Elon speaks, pay attention. And the other day when someone asked him, hey, Elon, and here it is right here. Watch my mouse right here. Hey, Elon, this is it. We hit 44. Hey, Elon, do you have any Shiba coins? No, I don't own any Shiba. This is what happened. Instant drop from 44. Why? Stupid. Okay. From 42, 43, 44, down to a wick, down to 33. Huge move down. And then it stabilized a little bit, went up to 37. But it wasn't 43, 44. And then, up, oh, little, little fake out. We're going back down. Again, fake out. Nope. We're going back up. There's the 41. We're almost back to where we are. Boom. Over here, we pretty much get there. And then off to the races we go based on his new comment. So Woo Dude's dream, vision for us was get your asses in there soon. The party or the movie show is about to start. That's what he saw. Tickets running out. They're almost out of sales, almost out of tickets. You better hurry. Oh, the building's burning up. Why are they burning up? Why not burning down? I said, because they're going to do a coin burn. They're going to do an effing coin burn of such epic proportions. This is what I think. It'll boggle the mind of most people. They never saw it coming. It makes this scarcity happen, right? Because they burn the coin, so to speak. It's called a coin burn. And we're all sitting on enormous profits off this coin. So this just happened. It started again yesterday. Today's the 27th. Um, there's the 26th. So somewhere in here, you know, Elon must have made his thing, whatever. Again, someone took some huge profit here, dropped it down to 46, and then off to the races again. And now we're kind of finding some resistance up here now. Um, anyways, I'm happy... If you could join my Patreon and spent that $20 for the first time in your life just a few days ago, and I told you on the first of the month you're gonna get charged again, just FYI. <laughs> you know, you can I can't help it, it happens. When you join it, it charges you, and if it's the first of the month, it charges you again. So I'm like, I don't know if I'd want to wait till the first of the month to whatever. You could, but look what you just would have missed out on. Best twenty dollars you ever spent. Now for other people who've been with me a long time, they've been paying more than twenty dollars ultimately for all the months and years but still if these people had two three four five grand and man i paid joe three four hundred dollars over the time span he's given me a few good things you know but it's been a little quiet lately i'm you know i might might have to cancel my subscription i don't, I don't know okay I, and i love you i understand you gotta do what you gotta do and then this happens and they go oh my god it's this just paid for my subscription for like 20 years not that i probably even have a patreon for 20 years i don't think but you know and i love being able to stay at $20. My wife told me a long time ago, don't don't ever change it off at 20. And I go, yeah, but what if like I you know this this trading stuff really works out and I'm getting good information and I'm posting it like there's trade call rooms, Evelyn, that cost 150 to 300 a month. There's guys like that one Katari Wikiwi, what the hell is that guy's name? 
two thousand dollar subscription fee. He just tells you a few coins he wants to get in. I'm like, give me an effing break. Um, I'm like, I could charge. You know, I'm not saying a lot. Maybe I'll bump it up to thirty dollars, or you know, from twenty to thirty, or twenty five, and then maybe thirty. And this is like back in 2018 when I first started. I'm like, you know, you got something, a good product, you can't charge for it. And she's like, I just, I just don't think you should move it from 20. You just leave it there. And I go, well, all right. So I left it there the whole time and never thought about it since. And even now, oh, woo, I got a woo, dude. I got a donk. A what? A donk. Donk. Remember that from uh, Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> I've got a donk. I've got woo, dude. I've got him helping me become, I think, ultimately a shaman like him in his footsteps and again my dream i've had so many dreams i don't share with you guys it's out of control uh i share some of them but things have happened to me i've got a connection with spirit now and i'm doing what he says and i'm doing what spirit tells me and you know like i'm, I'm doing it so i think they reward you when you listen and when you have a following maybe like me where there's a lot of people with money on the line their livelihoods are on the line like it's really important and they're like don't get greedy to all of us but especially me like don't get greedy you, you know you got some funds into this stuff like don't don't get greedy listen to us take your profit and i'm like no nope, but it's gonna go higher and then i get wrecked oh, i should listen you know so i'm like when he called me this morning woo dude he goes all right spirit's been on my ass all morning he goes i just got out of a reading you i got a few minutes i'll give you a call um he goes they're telling me you've made like at least a hundred percent already like in a, since i gave you that call to give uh and i go i, I don't know I, I haven't even looked this morning i was just getting out of bed and um i look at my phone and go holy shit it's up uh you know at the time i think it was like up 30 something percent or something and i'm like whoa oh, oh you know holy crap so i go let me look at let me do the math real quick i'm like eh. i'm like yeah actually yeah i'm definitely a hundred percent i'm like i think i'm more than that a little bit more but but yeah basically yeah why he goes they've, they've been telling me he, he made his 100 percent. he's made 100 percent. and she goes but they told me that earlier well earlier i think i was probably you know maybe i was at 100 <laughs> percent. let me let me look real quick because i sold i'm just gonna tell you i sold right at like six right there <laughs> excuse me so yeah 107 basically you could say 107 that's that's fine but again 107 on top of another 13 or so 14 percent but again if you, if you just do the whole thing from where we were where it's at right now 139 now it's you know it's climbed a little bit but again i, I got out again back down here yeah so i didn't grab the mouse quite so about 112 percent. i said 107 ish you know somewhere around there um and again went up a little bit more great am i upset that i you know that i missed that extra profit no let me tell you why when he told me this morning he goes look and I, and I posted this on patreon i gave the whole story on patreon so it's on there fresh this morning i said look woo dude just called me this is what he said and i gave both scenarios we could go higher and, and da, 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 he said this you know but for me i'm selling here now some of it because this is why and I'm not going to, you know, stare a profit of 100%, basically, in the face after two or three weeks after the call and go, well, I, I missed that when it crashed again, you know, or Elon something, blah, 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 you know. So Dick Allgaier, on the other hand, and I don't know if he got this from his guy, Marty, who's just like an analyst of, of markets, or if he did a remote viewing, he, I, I didn't say, he didn't say, and let me open my email, because sometimes he'll email me like he did the other day about his psychic lady that told him. It's going to do huge, huge, like 80 to 100x uh, before the run's over. So that could be like December, January. But I think they told them December. But again, you know how it is in the psychic world. They don't always get the timing right. But nonetheless, you know, who gives a crap uh, with this one especially. So I'm just looking to see if he sent me an email to tell me anything else. He did, he did not. Um, and that's okay. But his numbers were 8,000 at the last number. So right now it's 6,000 or 6,800, you could say. And uh, again, that wick is just, mm -mm, you know, people are buying, selling, trading. Um, he thinks 8,000 by this weekend. I'm not, he didn't say how for sure he got that number, but that's what he's, he's saying. Um, I am a member of his Patreon also. 
crypto viewing team and while I'm sitting here talking to you I will uh, close out my email I don't need that anymore I'm just gonna go take a quick little peek at uh, that post from my creators at his uh, you know his feed his uh, the crypto viewing team's feed in case he gave some more information out on this um, Shiba and let's see what we got I'll just pause this for a second okay so no there's nothing new on the pay on their uh, patreon regarding the recent events like of today or yesterday um, but he did talk about as I mentioned the other day his psychic lady saying she was gonna go crazy you know um, so anyways He kind of let the cat out of the bag the other day, uh, woo woo dude, when we were doing our live stream talking about a helicopter. I want wanted the Black Fly, which is a manned, single man piloted drone essentially. You can sit in it and fly the thing. It's called the Black Fly. So look up Black Fly drone if you really want to see it. And I've been asking Spirit lately if I'm supposed to get that. You know, give me the sign that I should probably that I should get that. If I should get an actual helicopter, can I get a sign on that? You know, I'm, I'm kind of looking, I'm realizing it only lasts 25 minutes on the battery of the Black Fly. That new one, Jetson one that just came out, they're selling that thing for $100,000. I'm like, mm, that's kind of high. It only flies for like 15 minutes, maybe 20, depending on if you're lighter weight. I'm like, mm. but Black Fly is like 25 to 30, maybe minutes and I'm going okay I want to fly this thing on the mountain I want to go explore I want to be with my friends you know my buddies JC and Dave would we all three gonna buy one I go well, I mean we could with crypto profits sure you know we're, how are we gonna get them all out there are they gonna stay out there the whole time I want to take mine home and fly it here I don't want to leave it out in New Mexico for a month you know for most of the year like in a in a you know storage unit or something I'm like you know and then and then what we fly oh guys we can't go too far we got to make sure we can be back with enough battery oh yeah okay let's go back you know and I'm like that's dumb and lately I've been getting information that I'm gonna have to be bringing the former people who dwelled on this this mountain which were the Apache Indians they're gone they're totally you know I mean they're in their reservation land now you know kicked off the area again in uh, you know a long time ago but they were the ones who were there it is gonna be critical I've been told this to bring them back probably the elders or like a shaman or somebody from the tribe like they'll know who they need to bring to this place certain places within the mountain that I know of and some that I do not know of yet that I will discover I've been told they'll need to go there do ceremony there'll be an opening in this one place here's what it looks like look for this you can't go in yet until they do the ceremony oh okay how am I gonna get them up there can't I can fly a black fly myself can't carry weight with it any extra people even if I rigged something like no it can't it won't work and I wouldn't rig something anyways um, and I'm like this helicopter is really coming into my orbit lately and I'm going is it just me you know thinking oh, I'm gonna I'd like a helicopter that'd be kind of cool I'm like well no it's not it's just not what that is you know sometimes I want something like oh I would need a four-wheel I need a side-by-side out -side, you know for this so, yeah, okay I'm like no this is yeah fun cool learn how to fly it, but utility you're gonna need this and I'm going, okay, Spirit, this is supposed to be, I'm looking at one. There's one in Tampa. There's only six or eight of these things for sale on the entire internet. And I'm talking used. And the model is a Swizer 300C. Not a CB or a CBI, but a C. And the C can handle the most weight, which is perfect. And it can also seat three people, which is perfect. Me, JC, Dave, epic. And if I got to drop people off, get out. I'm going to get two more people, bring them back up. Get out, bring two more people. And we would be parked by the mountain anyways. So it'd be nothing to, to you know, to go down there, get them, you know, and then we could do a ceremony or whatever. It's very important from what I'm being told. So I'm like, okay, I, I need I need to get this. And again, I'm a little nervous about the, the shortages that might be coming here and, you know, park supplies, all this shit. And I'm going, am I going to be able to buy one of these things when I need it the most, if I even need, you know, if I need the thing? But I'm feeling like I might start looking out. So I started. And Spirit's giving me nothing about getting it out, get the drone, get the drone. No. So I'm like, well, I've already contacted the guy from Tampa. He's not replying. Maybe it's going to spam. It says he updated the ad yesterday. 
I can't have possibly have sold it if you updated it yesterday. He hasn't replied. I'm like, I wonder if it's going to spam. Let me send it from a new email, a different email. Let me send it from that. Boom. A couple days, no, no reply. I'm like, shit, you know, damn. There's another one in South Dakota that is decent, comparable. And I go, same, same model. And I'm like, I'm going to take a trailer. Now it's already getting cold. I'd have to hurry up and go up there. I can't fly it back, so I'd have to take the rotor blades off, which you can do. It's not hard. It's easy. And then trailer it back. And I go, I could do that. I'm thinking, that's a lot of shit to just go look at it. And what if I don't want it? <laughs> like, and I'm going to have to bring like a bank check with me and the guy's name. And, uh, so I'm like, God, Spirit, or at least let me see the one in Tampa. I'd like to see it. And if I don't like it, I then I can maybe go get his. But at least I'll fly in and test it and get a taste of it. But I'm like, but if this one in Tampa is supposed to be, I think, let, let them contact me. So I'm, of course, I want to get it now, you know. And I'm out Saturday, last Saturday, recently, eating with Amy and Larry, my friends, who, who sell those trikes, which I bought hers, that, that purple one I bought. And we're just eating lunch. Um, I can't remember if we flew that morning or what, why I was out there. Um, but I, oh, I had to I had to make copies of a key to the, the hangar. That's why I was out there. And uh, so we ate lunch, and I get a restricted phone call, private. You know, I'm like, uh, and something's going, no, it's not spam. Like, answer it. And I'm like, hang on, guys. You know, we're... Hello, hey, it's so and so. You've been you've been trying to contact me. I see you. We we got an email in spam, but then another one came through. Uh, I got I'm the guy that got the helicopter in Tampa. You do you, uh, you did you like to see it? And I'm like, oh yeah 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 I would. Um, I've got time today up until about 1:30. Where, where are you at? And I go, well, my friends here. They they only have a hangar space out here in Zephyr Hills. We went to eat. He goes, oh you're in Zephyr Hills. Um, I could fly it out there. I've been to that airport before. I know that is. I could fly it if you want to see it. And I'm like, today? He goes, yeah. I go, well, shit. I'm not doing anything the rest of the day. I'm like, yeah, cool. So he flies the thing out there. And we met him, you know. And uh, he's like, you know, come on in. You know, duck. You know, always duck when you get in a helicopter. Just for, for those blades, you know. Because they're not that high above your head. But they're, they're, this thing sits nine feet tall. And I'm thinking, you know, I don't know. Unless maybe as the thing's kind of idling. The blades could possibly move a bit, you know, so I get it. You get it. You got a duck. It's just a common practice, I guess. So he's like, you know, duck. I'm like, all right, so duck, do the thing you see on TV all the time. They duck in to get in the helicopter. <laughs> so I get in there. Hey, how you doing? You know, so we go for a flight and I'm like, this is it. I already know. This is it. This is the one. Spirit's telling me right now. Like, I know it. This is it. Get it. Get it. Buy it. And we come around, do, you know, some maneuvers or just around the airport. And I mean, like a you know, private municipal airport, public, uh, local, not not a huge international airport. And we're just about to come in. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some fuel. I'll park over there." And he goes, uh, "He goes, oh, but wait, you want to go around one more time? You want to feel what an auto rotation feels like? You want to try that? And not not me do it, but be, experience it." And I'm like, "Auto rotation means engine out in a helicopter. You're going down, and you're gonna land this thing with an engine out. It's called an auto rotation." Because the blades auto rotate no matter what, the clutch disengages basically. From, I think, when I understand, from the engine because the engine's out. But like those little twirly things you used to play with as a kid, those little little windmill things. Um, when you move something like that, it spins. So as you're going down, that massive weight of the helicopter, and you've got it pitched forward at a certain speed, you know, forward. Um, th those blades are going to turn fast, but you're still coming down. So they're the uh, collective which is the thing that makes you go up and down in the helicopter you put that down which means i want to go down and obviously you have no choice because power out but anyways you put it all the way down so the pitch of the blade is is letting you go down down and right before you get above the runway or the grass or wherever you were about to land you kind of pull back on the uh, cyclic the stick to pitch back uh, backwards essentially to kind of stop that forward movement and at the same time you then pull that collective uh, up which changes the pitch of the blade to say, I want to go up. But again, you don't have any engine power, but it, because it was spinning so fast on the way down, you have just enough to give you that one little, and then you touch down, done. So we do it. And he made it look like a child could do it. It was so effing easy. I mean, just like nothing. And I'm watching him like, wow, that was, that was it. And this particular helicopter does him pretty well. So that's a good thing. Um, so I was like, wow, I just experienced that. That was kind of scary, but cool. So we get down. I'm like, before we go to the gas pumps, do you think we could go in that field right there? I just want to see if I can like hover this thing myself. I had a hard time on an R22 like everybody. Uh, couldn't do it. 
uh, in like maybe an hour and a half worth of training, two hours of back two years ago. And um, he's he's like, yeah, 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 we got we do it. So he's like, I'll I'll work the collective, which is up and down, and the pedals, which basically makes it spin left and spin right. He goes, you just grab the cyclic, the stick, and just hold us here. You know, hold us steady. He goes, by the way, about the size of a quarter or so. Um, you don't need any inputs more than that in either direction typically even when you're like countering and stuff I go okay so I'm grabbing the stick and of course we're a little wobbly at first you know eh, okay no alright I'm oh, better better yep smaller movement smaller movement okay and I'm sitting there I'm like fuck I just hovered this thing first time I, I couldn't do it for the life of me in a piece of shit R22 and I'm like damn he goes wow you're doing it you're doing pretty good man he goes, he goes alright you work the pedals now and I'll work everything else. I go, okay. So I'm, the pedals were like, okay, well, that's kind of easy. All right, got that. So he's like, cool. So he gave me it for a minute and like everything for just a set, you know, a little bit. And, and I was able to kind of keep her steady. So he's like, all right, let's go get gas. He's like, man, I can't believe you did that. Like, I'm actually surprised you just did that well. I'm like, so you're surprised? I'm surprised. I can't believe it either. I was like, dang. And it's nothing like flying a plane. Let me tell you, it's not even close. You've got three things you have to constantly like be aware of, you know. And this one doesn't have an automatic governor, like some of them do. Like I think a, a R22 does, where the throttle sets, the RPM is set. You don't have to worry about the RPM dropping a little bit. You gotta give it a little more throttle. This thing you do, but it's a little tiny amount, either plus or minus. So it's not. It's really easy once you learn it. So we land, and I'm like, uh, I'll, let me, I was like, let me let me pay for gas. Let me pay for gas. You know. So I put some gas in it, you know, at the, at the pump. It takes 100 low lead gas. And um, I'm like, all right, you got a few minutes still? Like, let's, let's, my two friends had come over, Amy and Larry, at that day. They're like, they want to check it out too, you know, because they don't have helicopters. They don't really fly them. So they're coming to check us out, you know, talk. And I, and I said, well, let's go inside the, the building here, the FBO, and air conditioning, you know, we'll go chat. And I go, yeah, you, let's go talk. You got a minute to talk business? He goes, yeah, yeah. So we go in there. And I'm like, okay, you're asking this, you know. And, uh, I'm like, would you take that? And he's like, ah, it's a little lower. He's like, how about this? You know, let's meet in the middle. And I go, okay. I said, right, I'll do it, with, but with one little stipulation. You'll train me for at least a few hours. You'll give me at least a few hours to get me, like, familiar and, like, you feel kind of, you know, where I can kind of, like, I can fly it, but, like, you know. And he goes, all right. He goes, yeah, I can give you a f several hours or whatever because, you know. I'll, I'll do that. I go, okay, cool. I'm like, I'll pay for, I'm paying for gas. I'll pay for everything. I'll give you down payment. And uh, so he's a very, very busy dude, like super busy guy. So he already told me like, yeah, I'll, I'll have to get with you and tell you where I can meet and when. And, you know, he goes, but I'll just fly from my place where I'm at to you every time we come out here at the train until we close on the deal. And I'm like, okay, well, um, well, I, no, he didn't say that. I said, cause I was telling him like by Tuesday of that week, which was this Tuesday, I would just get the money and I'd pay him off and, you know, I'd, I'd scrape some profits. I was thinking maybe out of Sheba, I'll tell you that story in a second, why? And then some others or whatever, because I don't want to sell a whole bunch of Sheba if I don't have to, you know. So, um, I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe Tuesday. Well, he was busy, couldn't, you know, and he's, but Monday he goes, hey, I'm out and about, you know, you mentioned you could give me a down payment any day this week. You, you have some cash. I go, yeah, I'll meet you right now. So I met him and his wife and one, his little daughter. Gave him the cash, tell him about Sheba. You got to get a she. Oh, she's in the crypto. Your wife? Yeah. She goes, Yeah, I'm in it. I go, Sheba. XLM too, but Sheba. Sheba. That, for now, like that one. Oh, okay. I'll get in. I'm going to get in like tonight or something. She wakes up the next day. It's up like, you know, 10%. Later in the day, it's up another 20%. Oh my God, that guy put us right on this one in the freaking thing. She's like, I'm up, you know, this much money. <laughs> And they didn't put a whole lot. He told me, we didn't put a whole lot in. She go, he goes, but we still put some in, you know, and it was great. So my wife's like, God, that guy really knew uh, this was going to be a good one. And uh, so he's like, because I told him I could pay you crypto too if you want as part of the deal. I don't care. And uh, I was like, but, or I'll keep it all. It doesn't matter. I was like, but I just hate seeing some things that I think I know is going to happen and people miss out. And I go, dude, let's say you take 15000 of what I owe and that's what you want in crypto. I said, I'm telling you, this coin it, in itself quite possibly easily could pay for this helicopter the full amount that I'm going to be paying you. Not just this little 15k, you know, not down payment per se, but this 15k that maybe you would want out of it in crypto. The whole rest of it could be paid for with just the 15k I'm going to give you in this coin. Let that, think about that. He's like, yeah, that would be kind of crazy. I go, 
He goes, but I got an IT guy that I work with. And he keeps telling me the same shit. He's been telling me for a long time, and I don't do anything. My wife's in it a little bit, but he's like made a lot of money. And I'm like, well, a lot of people I know have too. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you should do something. Just think about it. You know, he's like, all right. So I'm, I'm, I'm telling Spirit. I'm like, all right, Spirit. Uh, and I'd said this when I initially realized that I'm not Saturday. I'm going to be seeing him next week. And I'm going, that's only a few days from now. I'm like, wonder if I, Spirit, do you think I can get enough profit out of, uh, you know, Sheba to, to pay for this thing? And then I'm like, getting this feeling like, let me see if I can just get him to hold off a week. So I'll tell him I'll give him a couple good hefty down payments. If he wants the crypto extra down payment, I'll give him that too. You know, like, I'll do whatever he wants. And then maybe he'll train me two or three times in the meantime. And then we'll close on the thing next week, next Tuesday, which means this coming Tuesday. And so I'm like, but he may say no. And I'm like, that's fine. I'll just give me a, you know, let me go to the bank, get a bank check. I already liquidated this. I'll go liquidate that, you know, and then we'll go to Coinbase, sell it on Coinbase, send it to the bank account, you know. It only takes a day to get wired and bank on Coinbase, by the way, for, at least for me. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I can make it happen if he says no. But he's like, he's okay with it. He's like, well, I'm not going to be here anyways. I got to do this. I, you know, I'll only be here one day. Da, da, da. Maybe we can train that day. He goes, oh, my only thing is I'm just, you know, if you accidentally crash the thing, you know, damage it. And uh, I'm not quick enough to, to stop you and take the controls, you know. You haven't paid me that much compared to what is owed, and I go and I go. Well, let me. I said I'll write this to you an email if you need me to. I I don't mind. If I damage this thing, I'll buy it and I'll just get it fixed. I I have the funds to do so. Again, this crypto stuff has done me really good, and you know to be I'm an honest dude. I'm, I'm you know I'll shoot straight with you. So he he was okay. So next Tuesday it is, and of course he watched the Shiba grow over the next couple of days and was like, holy shit. Okay, this guy's kind of this guy Joe's kind of cool, man. I like this guy, you know. So he's like, okay, with Tuesday. So I'm going, okay, good. I don't have to make a move yet. So um, I'm like, I did scrape a little bit off of some stable coin that I had and a couple others, you know, little things, in in preparation. And then I go, well, I still need more though. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to probably do it. And I go, well, but again, maybe if Shiba does its move, I'll just use that now. And then I don't have to use as much Shiba profit as I would have if I just used all of the Shiba profit to buy the, the, the thing so here we are today's Wednesday you see the the charts oh my god is it up and I'm going how much profit did I how much Shiba did I need to sell to oh my god so I just scraped that again 6,000 to make this happen it's great it's fantastic it's gonna work beautifully I've already captured it I got the money it's there, you know, money in the bank, whatever you want to call it, um, for this. Now again, Dick Algar, it might go to eight eight thousand this this weekend. Again, the last four digits of the price. It's currently sixty six hundred, and uh, I'm like, for me, I asked Spirit. I said, Spirit, can you give me enough profit that I could pay for this helicopter with with just the profit, and then I'll just keep the initial investment I had in it back where it was like hey I'm I just bought an effing helicopter for free I literally just got a helicopter for free let that sink in not only did I get a helicopter for free I didn't need a hundred percent profit to make this happen I needed a certain amount which I'll keep private but nonetheless it hit that and then went ballistic more so spirits going you sure you just need one helicopter <laughs> you just need one yeah thank you spirit I'm good love you love you guys man you guys take care of me and my peeps man so I go oh my god so once again I have not only my initial investment back in there I've got extra because I don't need all that for this so I went ahead and said you know what I'm still going to just put it in a stable coin that extra I need tax money you know for this just that I'm taking out so I got the tax figured out take that out which I did, and then the extra. I go, well, I think I'm just going to go in the stable coin because if Elon Musk is running his mouth right now, it could go to $1. twenty by October. Everybody is selling everything they own to get into the Shiba, or at least fractions of what they own in all these other coins, which is why everything is red, and Shiba right now is 39% up, again, just today. 
But when the party stops and the money stops coming in because everyone's like, okay, I'm in, I'm back, I'm in now, I'm in, I FOMO'd, you know, because of what Elon Musk said, I FOMO'd, I'm in. And maybe they made some profits, which again, it's fine. If Elon said that, who, what big billionaires are, are were already in? And are going to go, nah, we're happy with that price. We made 150%. Time to unload. And when they unload... It's not just a little wick. Oh, there's a little bit. It's, oh my God, what just happened? Super was 8,000. It just dropped down to 3,200. Oh my God. You know, like something crazy. Now we don't have any numbers. We don't have any, oh, it's going to hit eight and then drop. Or it's, it's pretty much petering out now at 6,600. It's going to drop down back below this price. Joe, get back in the weekend. It does go back to eight. Get back in. You know, I don't have any of that right now. And I explained in Patreon why I'm doing what I'm doing. But here's what we would have told me. This, this, this. Like, here, pay attention. Um, so I posted on Patreon. It's there right now this morning. I just want to talk to you all a little bit this morning about this stuff. Um, and sometimes Woo Dude says, you know, that thing you posted privately on Patreon, spirits tell me I got to tell people for, like publicly, go do a YouTube, let's do a live stream uh, tomorrow or tonight or whatever. Like, and I'm like, absolutely. Sorry for you paying guys. Woo Dude says he has to give it out for free. If he does, there's a reason for it. And it's always spirit talking to him saying, you need to do this this you don't they don't have to tell them why but at the same time i can't just go to my patreon and go hey everybody keep paying me and by the way everything that i get i'm just going to start giving out for free now that's not going to happen but sometimes he gets that little thing got to give this one out and we do it no problem and that's just how it is again this is my business i this is my livelihood i earn income off of patreon this is my paycheck if patreon stops paying me I don't have a paycheck. I have to then become a full-time day trader or something, you know, and, uh, or go get another job. And spirit and all the psychics have told me, you're not ever getting another job, job. Those days are over. Like, put a fork in it. So I don't think that's going to happen, obviously. I would I, I would have to lose an enormous amount of Patreon members, I think, to where I'd get scared and go, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh -oh, the party's over. But again, if we can continue making people money, and sometimes there's a period of time, two, three, four months, whatever goes by, Joe, it's been kind of quiet over here. Listen, I know, I know I've posted a few things, but not really super duper crypto good, you know, info, but I don't want to just come out here and post to post and then take up space, you know, between other, maybe more important posts, but I, you know, and then Woo Dude calls. Oh my God, Spirit just gave me these two coins, XLM, Shiba. Here's what they showed me. Da, da, da. Boom. So I don't think Shiba's going to $1.20, to be honest with you. But Elon said that. Again, Elon moves markets like people you know the old days of you can move a mountain he's done this with doge at a penny which i got my people in on patreon at a penny back in january last uh of 20 21 this year it ran up to 70 cents because of elon i sold at 51 cents 39 cents that's 51 x in a 39 x believe me i'm happy where's that at today doge um 24 cents I feel like I did pretty damn good. Uh, but I got lower orders and waiting. Again, I, th I think we're going to have a flash crash, man. I really feel it. Um, but we'll see. So this is what I do. I know sometimes it can be boring. But when one epic call like this comes in, it's all it takes to, for someone to go, holy shit, that $20 I've been paying him a month just made me sick money. I, I mean, listen, I know people in my Patreon that are putting tens of thousands of dollars into single trades like not necessarily the trade per se but like if when i did shiba i know people who put tens of thousands in and i even know a few who put triple digits into shiba alone on that last call is that risky as f you bet your ass and that's why i'm not going to tell someone put a huge amount no you do what you feel is right and don't ever put more than you have but maybe the guy's got two million dollars he's playing with in crypto oh uh, yeah i'm gonna scrape some of this joe and put two hundred thousand into this one I've already got these other ones. You know, I'll just scrape it off of those. Great. It's a wise decision, as a matter of fact. Scrape it. Don't just dump your whole bag and put it into one thing. That's that's real risky. Now, what's his 200K worth in a few, two, three weeks? 130% higher, roughly, right? Again, if he's still going to sell now. But he may go, no, I'm, just, I'm, I'm in this for the long game. I'm not even going to sell. I'm going to wait to see what happens in December or whatever. And that's fine. But Spirit... Told the woo dude, Joe made a 100% call him. He made 100%. I'm telling you, he made 100% call him. Did you make 100%? I did. Matter of fact, 110 or 108, whatever it was to be specific. 
and then I told him the story of the helicopter thing where I asked Spirit, could you you think I could get enough profit out of Sheba to pay for this thing before I have to, you know, on, on closing day, whatever, <laughs> of, for, to buy the helicopter. I said that to my spirit guides. I didn't tell anybody about that. I then told him that this morning after he told me what he said. And I go, he goes, oh, okay, so that's probably why they're telling me to let you know, hey, Joe, you're up 100%. You know, is that good enough? For, you know, but he didn't know why. I said, well, they, I asked him to help me use profit, crypto profit to buy the helicopter. And he goes, oh, so 100% did it? I go, no, 100% double did it, more, more than that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I go, no, they gave me a bonus. And again, I sold at six, it's at 66. Oh, I could have made another, whatever the difference is, 10%, I could have made 10% more. No, I don't care. So I listened to them. It wasn't even a second thought. Usually it's like, oh, what if it goes higher? You know, Dick Algar, 8,000, uh, it might be this weekend. And by the way, it might. It very well could be. And then what's that going to equal? Epic profits. If you lick your ice cream. But what happens if we crash before that, at least a little bit? I jump back in. Ride back it up. Ride, ride it back up. 8,000 does hit like Dick thought for some reason. Boom. Get out again. Drops again. Holy shit. And, by, and I'm just giving you four if. What, you know, what if. But Woo Dude had told me this morning. He goes, Joe, you remember Digibyte? And by the way, Theta is included. He didn't mention this, but Theta too. Last year especially. Uh, he goes, remember how we were getting in and out? I showed you the cash register that they were showing me. You cash registering like, oh, profit, take it, put it back in. Profit, take it, put it back in. Like, you were going to do this a bunch of times. And yeah, you might make a few mistakes, but like the majority would be great. So it wouldn't even matter. I go, yeah. He's like, I think Spirit is going to give us Shiva for the same reason. It's gonna it's gonna be that in and out coin. It's gonna be the little cash bag, little cash register. In out in out. He goes. Imagine we could do 50 trades on this thing before this thing hits the peak. In the next two or three months or whatever, you know. And he doesn't have the timing either, by the way. But everyone's like, oh, December, the psychic thing, you know, whatever. And I go 50 times. I was like, dude, give me five. Give me five, of a, a move like this where we got in and got out. It dumped. We got back in. Wrote it up, sold it, dumped. We, you know, I'll take five of those. I don't need fifty. I'm not a greedy dude. <laughs> you know, I've learned my lesson. You know, he goes, he goes, yeah. No, I'm not saying. He's like, I'm just saying this for example. He goes, no. He goes, but I think they're gonna, they're gonna be moves with this. He goes, because I'm feeling very strongly. This is manipulated. This coin, they're doing this. Well, I then find out Elon Musk did the tweet. I didn't know that waking up this morning, and I didn't know it when I talked to him this morning. But then I found out. Frank at work was talking to me this morning about it. About he's like, oh, you seen Shiva? Did you see what Elon posted? No. He said they could go to a dollar twenty by the end of October. Got it. Now it's rocketing. Everybody's FOMOing. You guys know how this goes. FOMO in, FOMO out. The question is, where's the top? I want to get a little bit more, and you get caught in the greed factor, and then you get wrecked, or not necessarily wrecked, but you lose out on the big profit taking. And um, so I told him the story about the helicopter thing. He goes, oh, that's why, that's why. So for me, again, I'm, I know I need this helicopter because I've been advised lately, recent, well, in the last few months I've learned this. I'm gonna have to take Apache Indian specifically, maybe Comanche, but I think Apache for sure, to some of these places in the mountain that are just extremely hard to get to. And these are elders. And they're not called elders because they're old, by the way, but. Typically, elders are older in the tribe. They're the wise old men and women. Um, they're not going to be hiking all over the mountain. They live in an Indian village, uh, a reservation, you know how that is, and they're typically mostly flattish. So they're not like ru running around the mountains. This isn't the old days, Indians, right? These people don't have that kind of stamina. We're on horseback riding up and down the mountains. Like, And even if they were horseback, can't take you to some of the places I need to take them. And I'm realizing, ah, uh, this thing seats three people. I can take them up, drop two off, fly down where the car was parked, pick two more up, bring them up. You know, if there's two, four, six, or whatever, however many come. JC and Dave, let's go. Boop. Woo, dude. Santa Claus, let's go, son. I'm not sure if Julianne will be there. She, I think, if, well, God willing, she probably would be, and I'd like to have her there too. But bring up, bring up these people, and we're going to do ceremony. My friend Amy got a massive download the other day about a bush and a tree very specific to look for 
and the entrance is between the two. She said it, she got all this. And she goes, but I'm seeing us having to bring a, like, sh shaman or, like, a special, like, person from an Indian tribe. Like, I don't know if it's the medicine man, you know, shaman, somebody that has to do a, a, cer a ceremony right here that will basically, like, open the door for us. Like, it'll break something that was here, like, protecting, and then, okay, you guys can go. You, we can go in now. She goes, otherwise, you're not getting in. And he, they have to do it. And she goes, also, I see this woman. I have to get this white flower, very specific white flower. I don't even know what the hell it is. She goes, but I know it when I'll see it. And I'm supposed to present it to this Indian woman. She has an apron on. She has this dark colored hair. Blah, blah, blah. I saw her clearly. And she goes, I have to present this to her. And when I do, she's already going to know me when she sees me. She goes, but when I present that, she'll know this is, this is them. Okay. And then she said, she's going to give us something that will help us find things in the mountain. So I'm thinking maybe they have old maps and shit of the mountain from way back in the, when they were 16, 1700s, when they were being enslaved by the Spanish. But of course they knew where everything was because they were the ones working. So they wrote down their own little maps and then hid them away and have never been back, right? It could be something like that. She didn't say that, but that's where my mind went. And I go, oh, okay. But it is critical that you do this the right way on a spiritual level that is hard to even explain. And where I was two years ago from where I am now on that level, first going out to that mountain, getting a massive energy that this mountain gave to me and changing me and pushing me onto this path, I can understand now. And I understand quite a bit more than I did back then, way more. So I understand I'm gonna bring people, there's, there's more to this than just get my two treasure hunt buddies, let's go, we're spiritual guys, we can do it. Nah, yes, but no. You need the right people here, and it's not you guys. They have to come, do a ceremony, and the spirit guardians, if you will, will understand these these white dudes. They're they're as us. They're like uh, they're they're our family now. They're good. Let them in. That's what I'm gathering. And again, I got my friend Fred, the Indian, who has a connection to so many of these tribes because of his amazing abilities he has. And that's like, to me, honestly, it's like psychic. But when he does ceremony, it's not like it, just someone doing ceremony. This guy's got something going on. And these tribes, who are different tribes than his, want him there periodically. Hey, please come, Fred, please come. And a lot of times, don't have the money, I can't make it. Don't have the money, I can't make it. Until Jay Snip 4 showed up. Hey, Fred. Anytime you need a little offering you just tell me okay I know you don't use it to buy stuff and you don't live that way you just tell me so he tells me from time to time and he and then he sends me a picture oh here I am at this place da, 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 da. like he shows me he's going to do these things I don't need proof I never asked him for proof but recently I gave him another couple bucks because he just used all the money we raised for him on patreon a little while back to build a fence around his property on his reservation land that these kids were like riding four wheelers and shit and messing up his there was an area that was very sacred and important to him on his area by his uh toboggan what do they call it it's something um his house adobe structure right and he's like I, I gotta fence this off man they're like you know and he goes it's, i don't know what it's gonna cost i go well let, let me i'll give you some but i'll go let me let me do a patreon post these people have been asking me for a while some of them to chip in and I won't let them. I'm like, no, guys, I'm good. You guys, Patreon, you pay me every month. I got money. Like I got crypto. I, I got it. I got it. I want you guys to keep your money, put it in crypto, you know, but they're like, well, no, we got money. <laughs> We've got crypto. We want to help. I'm like, all right, next time, next time. So next time just happened recently. And I set up a little donation thing real quick. I got, I think $7,500 or so, um, to that came in all every penny of it. Boom. Fred, 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 here you go. So he got all the railroad tie things. They were going to do this big fence. He hired a couple of local Indian guys that needed the money to do the labor. And uh, he said, you know, and some people offered, Joe, I'm not far from this area, I think, in Arizona. Um, I'll go for free. I'll have to give labor. And I had like two or three, four people, three or four people. And I'm like, no, let's, no. Because I thought, well, he's going to pay. They would come for free. But I'm like, he's willing to pay, take some of that money and pay some of the Indian people that he would know there. I'd rather pay them now they've got some money rather than you guys come and do all the labor for free which is a beautiful gesture but I just thought no 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 and he would have eat by the way I talked to him 
he would have gladly accepted the offer of people coming to help manual labor. He said it to me. But I'm like, no, no. These pe I'd rather have him pay out of some of that money. I just felt like he had he had enough. It would cover the stuff, the cost, and like just enough. And it was just enough. So it just worked out perfect. So because I take care of him, and uh, I told him my dream, which I posted on Patreon the other day about this Indian baby that was affected me drastically in this dream and in real life, this thing that happened in a very positive manner. I mean, it was like crazy. So this, uh, let me see who that is. That's Evelyn. Evelyn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Time stands still when I'm with you. So, anyways, I take care. I take care of Fred, and I tell him. I'm telling him about this baby that's like three weeks old that sings like a ceremonial song to me, and uh, just part of the dream. <laughs> and I see, and I sing it to him on the phone. I go, "This sounded like this," and he goes, "I know that song. We know that song." him and his his wife I she goes yeah I go well what, what you know the song that the baby sang to me yeah we know that song I never heard it in my life it was just two little lines so maybe it was like the beginning of the song you know whatever and it's an Indian chant if you will ceremonial song and I was like whoa he goes I'm getting chills he goes Joe my whole body's shaking right now I'm shaking right now when you telling me this he goes all right um end of the year we do a ceremony, a lot of the tribes do a ceremony. It's like the ending, you know, closing out the old, starting the new every year. Um, I'm getting your teepee ready. My cousin or uncle is going to um, get, I'm going to have him make a teepee for you. We're going to get it ready. And I'm going to call you sometime towards the end of the year, I think. And get you, get you, we got to do, we got to work. We got to, we got stuff to do with you now. It's time. And, then, and he goes, if you think that was crazy, the dream, you just wait. And I go, I, I, I okay. You call me when, when you're ready. So I'm gonna do something, but I thought, man, if I could get this helicopter and I can get my license real quick, which can be done. You can get it done in you know, pretty short amount of time. I'm like, God, I might be able to bring it out there, trailer it out there already. And uh, you know, maybe take them up. But again, I might be too busy doing with whatever they want me to do. I, I don't know, but I, nonetheless, um, I got stuff that's gonna be happening and I'm excited for it. And I'm excited for everybody else who's in crypto making money getting out of your debts and um, just felt like telling you all this this morning so let's see what happens wish you the best of luck again lick your ice cream don't watch your profits slip message of the day